Today's find, this cat. It is just such a little folk arty looking kitty cat. I am crazy about it. Not that I'm a crazy cat person, but I guess you might think I am because it's, you know, my username has the word cat in it, but that was just kind of coincidence. Um, funny, long story, but basically I did have a cat named Tweak, but um, this cat I'll call Muffet for just for the sake of it. So Little Miss Muffet here. Uh, this cat was my grandmother's. I remember her having it in like a off limits room that just kind of sat up against the door. And I always remember when I was little, it kind of just always seemed like it was looking at me. <laughs> but I, th I think these are super cool and very time period. I'm not sure if you could just buy them like this. Uh, or there was a kit where you would make them, put them together. I don't do it yourself. I'm, I'm not sure, but the bottom is felt, but it's super heavy. Some of them are rubbery, but they're really heavy. And from what I was told, they were used as door stops. If anyone else knows more about these, let me know. And then for this video, I had someone give me another one because I was talking about this cat that I'm, you, you see in front of you. But I was talking about how much I loved it, and they said, hey, you can have one of ours. Um, it's been in our family for a long time, too. Uh, so that is this one. And uh, that one's very folk arty, too. As heavy as can be. And like you, said, you can see the felt on the bottom. And the, the pattern is just very unique. I like how it's kind of almost solid on the head. Still has this pattern, but then very, very patchy, quilt-like all over, everywhere else. And if if you actually look at it, I swear, don't these darker ones remind you of, and right here, of the <laughs> that Smashing Pumpkins album? I can't really think of it at the moment, but it just makes me think of it. Actually, oh my crap. Okay, so this is definitely like a folk art thing. Look at that. Like, someone has written on it. Two ninety five ninety seven. Hope. Oh gosh, what does that mean? I do not. I will never probably know what that means. But if anyone else out there has information on these type of uh, figures or doorstops or folk art type things. Let me know. I would love to find out details from the community over these. Um, here's the other one. one. More time. So there's a little Miss Muffet. So yeah, if you have deets, let me know in the comments below. And maybe we can figure out what this little cat is. And, uh, you know, I can fill in the details down below. And if anyone else wants one, You'll have that the information and the access to uh, to find one and purchase it at a good price, or maybe find it at a thrift store or garage sale, garage you know estate sale. So thanks for tuning tuning in. Everyone have a great week.